Welcome to today's rap study of realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyahilome, Sunday, 23rd August 2020. Follow God's plan for your life. For we are God's own handiwork, His workmanship, recreated in Christ Jesus, born anew, that we may do those good works which God predestined, planned beforehand for us, taking part which He prepared ahead of time, that we should work in them, living the good life which He prearranged and made ready for us to live. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. It's important that you reflect on your life and be sure you are working in sync with the Spirit and following God's plan for your life. If you give Him your attention, He will guide you aright always. Jesus said of the Holy Spirit, He will guide you into all truth. John chapter 16 verse 13 Trust Him with your life, and He will lead and guide you in God's perfect will for you. When you are walking in God's plan, everything you require within the ambit of His will for you will be supplied at the right time. At every milestone in your journey, Whatever you need will be in place because you are on the path that God planned for you. Struggling would become unnecessary because you are on the course and piloted by the Spirit. Some people pursue ambitions that have no connection with the purpose of God for their lives. They are not yielded to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. God doesn't want you doing something simply because others are doing it. Seek and follow His guidance. Yield yourself to the world. His world is the true light. The psalmist said in Psalm 16 verse 11, Thou will show me the path of life. How? Through the word. His word is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. Psalm 119 verse 105. Through his word, he leads you in the path of success, victory, and boundless joy. Those paths he already prearranged for you. Your life shouldn't be a labyrinth of circumstantial events. You are not a child of chance. God prepared for you before you came, which means predestination is at work in you. Never allow the fleeting pleasure of self-centered ambition sway you. Don't be perturbed by any unfavorable condition in which you may find yourself. Choose rather to follow and remain in God's plan for your life by serving Him wholeheartedly and living in His world and He will guide you to fulfill your destiny. Prayers Dear Father, through your word and fellowship with the Spirit, you guide me to fulfill your destiny for me, bringing glory to your name and divinely help of the Spirit to make decisions and take actions which are in sync with your divine purpose.
In Jesus' name, Amen. Further study Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11 to 12. Romans chapter 8, verse 29 to 30. Meditate on these words. Give yourself wholly to them, that your profiting may appear unto all. Have a blessed day.